in Laguna, on the southern coast of Brazil, while dolphins and fishermen make for an unusual team. Bottlenose dolphins head great mullet into shallow waters where fishermen wait. When it's time to cast the nets, the dolphins signal the fishers with divers and tail slaps. In the process, both human and dolphin get more and bigger fish than they'd catch on their own. Unfortunately, this century-old partnership is under threat. Grape mullet, locally called tainha, is an essential fish in southern Brazil. It supplies income and protein for thousands of families. But for the last several years, fishers have caught mullet faster than it can reproduce. Brazil collects almost no data on its fisheries and has no catch limits on ocean fish. These limits, called quotas, have helped revive declining fish stocks in other countries. To create effective quotas, scientists need to know how many fish are caught in the first place. So in 2017, Oceana, along with small-scale and commercial fishing organizations, developed the Tainiometer. Fishers use this online tool to report how much mullet they caught, when and where they caught it, and the fishing gear they used. The Tainio meter shows that it's possible to have science-based fisheries management in Brazil and that fishermen and groups like Oceana can lead the way. The mullet meter might also have an unexpected upshot. By helping bring back Tainia, it could protect the special relationship between Laguna's fishermen and its tail-slapping dolphins. <laughs>